bathroom. I swear to God, I did not know if you were alive. What? Like, and it, it scared me to death. It scared me to death. Makes me feel weird that like everyone was like, is she dead or something? Like, because it's just a lot. Catherine, for it's me. not normal. I know, I know, but like, you have to understand, like, it, it's difficult to explain to people that maybe don't deal with depression, but it's. <sighs> this has all been like the one thing I haven't really like opened up about, but I have been on meds for a while now dealing with like depression and as far as like living sober and like being happy that way i've been doing well i've got a job now i thought to myself i don't need these so i just stopped taking them and i didn't really realize like how it would affect it would affect me and psyche. it really did yeah. it increased my anxiety it increased my like emotional like response and it snowballed and I've been, in a way, like, kind of ashamed. I don't want you to ever feel like you can't come to me about something. I know you wouldn't judge me. It was just a matter of, like, confronting it, like, for the first time, just saying it out loud to you. When I was in California and went to rehab, the official diagnosis was anxiety and depression. Getting this diagnosis gave me some relief as to why I was choosing irresponsibly to numb out those emotions. That being said, I now take antidepressants. So have you talked to Madison since you haven't mm -hmm. been there? Yeah, we're gonna meet and talk about like schedules. But the thing is with her, I got really lucky because she's a really good person and a good friend. And I can open up to her a little bit more like about like the personal stuff going on. For a long time, I didn't feel very deserving of friendships. You know, I didn't feel like I had value to bring other than a burden.